the, the origin of the exhibition idea was uh, when I saw the Fat House in the Art Fair in Basel. There's Art Unlimited, this uh, exhibition um, near to the Art Fair. And uh, of course we have a very special architectural situation uh, in this hall, in this very big hall, because it's 3,200 square meters without any pillar. So it's one room and it's, uh, it's a very, not only difficult, but it's a, a real challenge as an artist to work directly with this space. And the idea was from the beginning, uh, since uh, I started here in 2004, to do a certain number of solo exhibitions with artists in this enormous space. And uh, I know Erwin Wurm since a very long time, because he's the only artist now in the program uh, who is from, the, from Austria, where I was born and I have lived for 20 years. And we know each other since the very early 80s. And, uh, it, uh, but the, the thing was that really with this fat house, it was clear that uh, it could be a really direct dialogue between his works and the space. And we then decided to build a second house. It was very interesting that I had uh, planned in the model of the, when we started to conceive the exhibition, uh, my idea was to have two walls in, in the space and Erwin Wurm was then uh, taking out these two walls and saying no, let's try the whole space empty but then we need a second house and the idea to have the second house was in, in a way quite formal in a way to, to have the space structure by one house like this, one house like this and the, the first house, the fat house is uh, this um, uh, is was being made in a series of works by Erwin Bull where he is discussing uh, what is going on if if an object is becoming fat, like it's between it's kind of a metaphor between things which are going on with the human body, also especially in in our society it's very much discussed what is. Uh, to be fat or to be thin and so on. And, uh, and it's, uh, I think, a very strong metaphor for that people can really live and experience something which is near to their life and to their body. And at the same time, uh, the work of Erwin Wurm is really very sculptural, I think. That it's, it's about it's, uh, problems of sculpture. It's, for instance, about volume about the relation between volume and weight is something um, uh, very heavy while being fat or is fat it's in fact there is it's not heavy because the house is not heavy at all and it's very light and uh, it's built out of pvc so it's a very light house it's much lighter than a normal house or no house just an art oh that's so confusing and why am I fat? A house cannot be fat. I was told that's a fact. A clear thing. No house can be fat. But I am a house. Yes, I am a fat house. Am I artwork more than a house? Can an artwork be fat? I guess no. The same story with the house. A house cannot be fat. And uh, it seems like that uh, kind of uh, between volume, energy, what what is a body, what is an object, and so these questions are quite uh, classical. But I think what is really interesting is that Erwin Wurm is taking materials and objects and forms which are coming out of our life and not of the tradition of art. So he's not, he's discussing problems of sculpture but with objects which are taken out of our normal life. And this makes the things kind of strong. And it's not um, an artist making jokes about life today, but he's more really using elements of 
contemporary life to discuss sculpture and this makes the kind of uh, a very interesting uh, potential. What we discover now in the exhibition is something which we also have seen in the when the exhibition was first in Vienna. It was completely different in Vienna, from, but uh, it was the exhibition who had the most uh, uh, visitors of the whole museum in Vienna. It's a kind of a new record. And uh, we also have an, a really very big success among the visitors. But uh, what is quite special is that uh, we have very many young visitors and we have many families uh, where the people say that uh, the adults are saying that it's our, uh, our skill, uh, children who wanted to go to the museum and they have taken us, the parents, with, with them. And this is completely the opposite to a normal exhibition where the parents try to convince the children to go to a museum and the children normally don't want so much. And uh, it, it's very interesting that the, the people are really kind of um, appropriating the exhibition. That uh, it, the, um, so the people don't have uh, this kind of feeling of enormous uh, auratic is respect or so. In this, they they uh, really use the the sculptures which you can use, and we have also the problem that they use also the other sculptures. They open the cars and everything, and um, so. But this ambience, I feel, it's it's very interesting because people, uh, it, it's not populistic because people have really an experience about sculpture, and uh, it's it's not just about having fun or something like that, it's that people really learn something about sculpture. What is, is when, then, when they see afterwards a, a sculpture by Rodin, I think they, they have more a feeling for what are the problems or what are the intentions of a, a sculptor. And this I feel quite interesting. With the work in Erwin Wurm in general, since about 10 years, is that it's working in many different cultures. It's uh, very much exhibited also in Asia, for instance, and it's no problem of comprehension there. And there is still now a big uh, touring exhibition in the United States. And it's interesting to see that the book, for instance, the, the catalog of this exhibition in the States is a, a, is a real bestseller all over the world. And, uh, we have the same experience that so many people are buying this catalogue while the catalogue is, is not quite cheap. And uh, it, so we feel that people have really a large interest and it's kind of uh, independent from the culture. It's in different parts of the world. And uh, so therefore the exhibition is a very good experience for us.